Panic buttons in classrooms and automatic door locks are two of the school safety requirements in a new report from the Texas Education Agency. The TEA's report was ordered by the governor after the Uvalde school shooting. Fox 4's Alex Boyer has a closer look. In response to the deadly mass school shooting in Uvalde, the Texas Education Agency developed a new plan to improve security in Texas public schools. Obviously, hardening facilities is, is important. Craig Miller is a retired chief of police for Dallas ISD. The plan unveiled Thursday includes that all schools have silent panic buttons to connect with police in the event of an emergency. I do think that the panic alarm system or the panic button is, is very interesting. Um, especially for districts that have portables. Schools would be required to have working two-way emergency radios, something that was a problem at Robb Elementary School, prompting now-fired Uvalde ISD Police Chief Pete Arredondo to use his cell phone to communicate with dispatch and other officers. Having the, uh, the two audits a year for the radio communications. I think that is a really uh, neat proposal. I think will be really valuable to the state. Doors and windows that allow entry into the school would be required to be locked and undergo regular inspections and maintenance. Plus, a master key must be available for emergency access. That will allow um, us to have the most secure entrance uh, possible. On uh, Tuesday, Dallas ISD Superintendent ISD. Dr. Stephanie Elizalde toured the new Thomas Jefferson High School. It's one of several district schools damaged by an EF3 tornado in 2019. It has a fortified front entrance called a security vestibule. Which at any of our schools that are now um, undergoing renovation, um, that's been now a standard practice. School districts can apply for grants from the TEA for spending on various security related costs over the next two years. Grants will be awarded using a per pupil count, but districts will receive at least $200,000 to ensure small rural districts can also tackle infrastructure costs. They're going to have to really work with their community and the administration to determine what is the essential things that they really need. Alex Boyer, Fox 4 News. And the public can weigh in on the proposed rule from November 11th to December 12th before a final version is submitted to the Texas Registrar. If adopted, the rule would go into effect within two days of submission.